flavor of the month. Settle down. As you all know, the flavor of the month contest is next week. This is a chance to show off your very best, so just make sure you're prepared. Okay. Let's practice our intros, shall we? Who wants to go first? Yeah. Right. Why don't we start with strawberry? Uh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm sweet, I'm tangy, I'm the always lovable strawberry ice cream. <laughs> what that means is I'm a fruity, refreshing ice cream with gobs of blended strawberries. And nobody can resist my sweet and tangy flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that sweet and tangy introduction. <laughs> Thanks. Now, who wants to go next? I want to go next. <laughs> okay, chocolate ice cream, please come to the front. Yep. Anyone here stressed about bad grades? Or about your relationships? Nothing takes down stress like chocolate ice cream. Once your problem solved, you gotta turn to the ultimate comfort food. I'm chocolate ice cream. <laughs> mm. Choco ice cream got me through geometry. Oh, it smells like toothpaste in here. <sighs> oh, it's mint ice cream. Strawberry, Choco. <laughs> Behind the times. Minty, minty, waka, waka, minty, waka, yo. Yes, I am the real mint ice cream. Dig it? <sighs> my burning eyes. <laughs> you object to my strong perfume? How small minded. All you have to do is sprinkle chocolate chips, and just like that, I become the rising star mint chocolate chip. Once you try me, you won't be able to stop. Hmm. Wow, now he's mint chocolate chip. Well, that's more like it. <laughs> wow, such new confidence, mint chocolate chip. Well, I believe we still have some introductions left. Bright and summery, I'm Cherry Jubilee! Oh, mm, mm. Sweet Nettie's the game, Caramel Almonds by name! Representing all the bittersweet aspects of life, I'm Green Tea Ice Cream! Twinkle, twinkle, I'm Shooting Star Ice Cream! You've all prepared beautifully! I just can't wait for the contest! Is there anyone left to introduce themselves? Not everyone! Vanilla Ice Cream hasn't done his intro! <gasps> well, Vanilla, come on up! <laughs> up there! Uh, Hurry uh, up! Uh, <laughs> hello there, everyone. Uh, I'm vanilla ice cream, and uh, I'm cream colored and made of sugar and milk. Aren't all ice creams made out of sugar and milk? Yeah, they are. <laughs> and I uh, smell like vanilla and uh, and. Are you all done for now? You can go back to your seat. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right then, practice hard for the contest next week, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm home. Huh? <laughs> hey, you're home. Is something wrong? Why do you look so sad? Next week is the flavor of the month contest, but I've got nothing worthy of showing off. Berry, choco, green tea, and even mint chocolate chip. They're all so cool. And I'm so boring and vanilla. Oh, why did I have to be born this way? <laughs> and what is wrong with vanilla ice cream? You listen. Huh? We vanilla ice creams are a distinguished family with a long history. How dare you insult us? How can I think about that when nobody likes me? Huh. What? Open this door now. Calm down. He's probably going to run away again. What is wrong with this kid? He is a teenager after all. <gasps> I know just who to ask for advice. Who? Why, the best baker in Bakery Town, of course. What about me? Oh, and where did all these frozen fruits come from? <laughs> I look like I have freezer burn. I almost turned into ice cream for good. Where are those ice creams anyway? Oh, Mr. Bread, hmm? you see that village? Huh? I think the ice creams live right there. Hmm. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> yep. 
Why did I have to be born a boring vanilla ice cream? There will never be anything special about me. Sweetie, <laughs> our guests have arrived. No, I don't want to see anyone. Ice cream, long time, friend. Oh, it's Wilk and Master mm. Bread. Good to see you. <laughs> mm. Flavor of the month contest, you say? It really doesn't matter. I'm so boring, I'll probably come in last. But you should totally give it a try, right, Master Bread? Yep, you'll definitely come in last. <gasps> Vanilla ice cream is the foundation of all other ice cream. You'll come in last if you can't understand that. Why does that even matter? There's nothing special about me. <laughs> Drizzle some chocolate on top of vanilla ice cream and you get tasty vanilla with chocolate swirls. Wow, I didn't know I could look like this. But wait, there's more. Ah, top it with blueberries. <laughs> ah, ah. Decorate with strawberries, and you become a blooming flower of ice cream. Wow! Don't forget the fresh mint leaves! To top it off, a chocolate-dipped heart-shaped cookie, and you're the best ice cream ever. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it! I'm actually cool! Vanilla ice cream is the perfect blank canvas. It looks great with anything on top of it. Thank you all so much for being here for the Flavor of the Month contest. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. So let's meet our first contestant. It's Strawberry. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, Barry, are you okay? Told you she was going to try too hard. <laughs> you totally saw that coming. Oh, are you okay? You used too many strawberries. Oh. <laughs> So, let's get the next act out here, huh? Chocolate ice cream? Hmm? <gasps> My inescapable flavor will conquer you all! I am the temptation destined to bring you to the dark side! I am chocolate ice cream! What's on his Well, hand? they're not just wafers, are they? Oh, I got you, dear. Mom! I... I was just... Trying to show how powerful chocolate is. I think your presentation needs more work. Now step okay. aside. Okay. <sighs> well, whoever's next, come on out. I'm Ice Cream's Rising Star, a.k.a. Mint Ice Cream. If you sprinkle chocolate chips on my head, <laughs> the nutty crunch of almonds combines with the... the, 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 the oh, I'm stuck. I'm going to fall. I'm going to... Oh! I'm here for the times when what you really need is a little bitter sweetness. Oh, no, it's so bitter! Oh, I know they're all trying, but this is boring. You think they're trying too hard? Uh, it seems our students wanted to win so badly, they went a little bit too far. Anyway, let's see our last contestant. Vanilla ice cream? <laughs> 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 Please tell me that you prepared. He looks the same as always. <laughs> like he can bring the thunder. <laughs> exactly. Hi, everyone. Vanilla ice cream's my name. I guess I <laughs> might like I seem say. a little boring compared to other ice creams. I'm not fresh like strawberry, nor as powerful as chocolate. I'm not a unique flavor like mint chocolate chip or green tea. So why was I born a vanilla ice cream? I've thought about this a lot. I blamed my parents. I even considered skipping the contest. That's when Master Bread helped me realize something. The fact that I'm plain is what makes me special. With a drizzle of chocolate, I become Magic Shell Ice Cream. Had some strawberries and blueberries, and bam, look at me. I'm berries and cream. Top me off with some crunchy almonds and fresh mint leaves. Just like painting on a blank canvas, I can place any toppings on my head and become anything I want! Wow! Oh. You really go with any flavor? Yes, because he's vanilla! Ah. <laughs> and I truly am proud now about being a vanilla ice cream! Gotta say, I love myself! <laughs> wow! You'll have to share with us how you raised oh. such a smart son! Yeah, that's a kid who really knows himself. Hmm. <laughs> Wow! I never thought vanilla ice cream could be this awesome! For real. What a guy! Huh? Vanilla, you, you've grown up so much! 
It's time to announce the winner of the flavor of the month. And the winner is vanilla ice cream. <gasps> The kid, he done good. Master Bread, he looks so happy, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Time for us to hit the slopes again, eh? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ice Cream Runaway Pancakes are 100% organic, and every serving is cooked to order with love. Not to mention the real maple syrup and fresh fruit. Mm. Ah. Oh. Ah. Mm, that's the best one yet. The next stack is for you. <laughs> wow, that looks so yummy. Time for dinner. Huh? <sighs> but I want pancakes, and he said the next stack was for me. Hmm. Tonight's menu, frozen anchovies and frozen fruit. Not again. Do we always have to eat frozen food? Anchovies are a rich source of calcium to make your growing bones strong. But ice creams don't have bones. I don't want it. I won't eat cold hard fish again! You will eat what you're given. Your diet is terrible. That's why you're still 31st place in a class of 31 flavors. Now sit down. <sighs> what does my diet have to do with my place in the class? Uh, my tooth broke! <laughs> it's okay, Creamy. My tooth <gasps> broke because you made me eat cold rock hard food! I oh. want to eat something warm and oh. melty! <laughs> and there he goes again. How can an ice cream eat something warm? You'll be soft serve as soon as you leave the freezer. I'd rather melt than eat like this again. I'm going out to eat pancakes and corn dogs and whatever I want! Oh, <laughs> Scoopy. Just let him go. He'll be back when he gets hungry. I refuse to eat frozen food from now on. I'm going to find all the yummy food and eat it all. Wow, this is food heaven. Here you go. I can't believe it. This is that cotton candy I saw in bread tube. Wow, a real corn dog! Uh, huh? Oh, oh, a perfect pear! Salty and sweet really does taste good! I'm so glad I came out of the freezer! Huh? <gasps> the same pancake shop I saw on bread tube! Pancakes, here I go! Huh? What's happening to me? But he said the next stack is for me. Why did Mr. Bread tell me to buy this fan instead of the AC? Oh, and sure is cool. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, it's an ice cream on the ground. Hey, are you okay? Oh, the ice cream is melting. Oh, oh the ice cream is spreading faster because of the wind. I have to get him to the barber shop. Oh, come on, kid. Hang in there. Oh, here. Uh, it's steaming today. I'll end up a steamed bread. Huh? <laughs> Sir, why don't you just turn on the AC? Hold it! Do you know how much the monthly utilities are? You must outsmart the heat with your mind! Just takes a little ingenuity to stay cool. Oh. Ooh, so cool, like the South Pole. Sir, something's oh. happened! I found an ice cream on the ground and he's melting! Oh. Ice cream should be in freezers. What is he going on about? That's not important right now! Choco, turn on the AC, quick! Uh, so you're telling me you left the freezer just to eat good food? Yes, I'm sick and tired of fish sticks and peas. I am never going back there! But you know, if you stay here, you'll melt to death. Uh, you don't know what it's like to eat frozen food your whole life! No. <laughs> well, did you have to bring him here? Sir, can you do something to keep him from melting? If you can't do it, I don't know who can. Bread! Wasn't you who spilled sticky mm. goop in front of my shop? How dare you? The only thing I spill is my charm. Oh my, Mr. Bread uh, is spilling his charm just for lucky this. I got so too. Well, somebody spilled something out there. Ooh. The only customers I have now are flies. I didn't do it, you fool. It was that ice cream right there. Huh? What's that blob of cone custard doing here? 
He's just a little ice cream. He left the freezer to find good food, but then he started melting. Well, then why don't you just put him in a freezing suit? A freezing suit? Yeah, it's a suit that uses the polar principle to emit cold air. I invented it when I was in third grade all by myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, Mr. Potato Chip, will you please help ice cream to not melt away? I'm melting, I'm melting. Give me one reason why I should help you. Well, do you believe this guy? Since when do potatoes make freezing suits? That's true. Even though Mr. Potato Chip is kind of smart, your average huh? potato tends to make a hash of things. What? I'll show you just how smart I am. Yeah. Huh? What is that supposed to do? You just be quiet and watch. Huh? Hands off! Oh, so sweet. Is this honey? What are you doing? That's the glue that holds everything together. It's complete. Ha -ha! Who's the hot potato now? Check it out. This suit emanates five levels of cold air. It is cold, just like a real freezer. Ice cream, uh, you've got to try it on. I don't want to. It'll make me look like a monster. What are you implying? I went through a lot of trouble to make that. It's so ugly mm. and I won't wear it. You can't blame the kid for not wanting to be made fun of. What are you talking about? This is literally the coolest suit in the world. How can you call yourself a barber if you could call that thing cool? Now, I would make an adjustment there and change this here. Could you add some finishing touches, sir? Oh, me? <laughs> what do you think? Isn't she lovely? <gasps> it's so cute. I can't wait to put it on. Oh, you're the best, sir. <laughs> it fits me perfectly, and I love the color. <sighs> it feels like a freezer, and I feel like myself again. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Now you don't have to worry about melting. Between Mr. Potato Chip's brain and Mr. Brad's creative savvy, we made something awesome. Why don't the two of you work together? <laughs> what? Me work with that breadhead? Why would I want that chip on my shoulder? What did you just say? Why don't we go out for pancakes? You know, the ones from Bread Tube? There's somewhere I have to go first. Huh? I can't believe we're all at the pancake shop together. It looks that's for me. Is this what you were excited about? Oh, it's simply beautiful. Oh, it's delicious. Have some, Mom and Dad. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost House. And the finishing touch. <laughs> Whoa! I look like the Joker! Ours will be the two best Halloween costumes at the party! <laughs> this is gonna be amazing! Have fun, you two! <sighs> We're finally done for the day, Chucko! So, hmm. what are your plans for Halloween? Nah, probably watch a horror movie or two. How about yourself, Wilk? I'm going to put on my costume, and Cheese and I are going to go trick-or-treating together. <laughs> mm, sounds pretty cool. Wait! Hmm? Wilk, Choco, don't you want to go to the theme park with me? Uh, the theme park with you? <laughs> don't think so. Oh, please come. I've wanted to go to a Halloween theme park since I was a tiny slice. But Cheese and I are going to... I'll buy you some chocolate pumpkins. For real, sir? Mm. Well, you guys can go without me. I'll give you a day off! Mm. Okay. I <gasps> promise you two, tonight's Ooh. gonna be the best Halloween ever. Let's go! Lead the way, sir. <laughs> All right! <laughs> <laughs> Master Bread, this is scary cool. Right, Wilk? I told you it would be. Now let's go ride mm. the coaster. Last one on is a ghoul! Let's go! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think I want to go <laughs> That wasn't even that bad. I'll bet they have much scarier rides than that at this park. I hope so. I'm up for a scarier one. Hmm. Check that out. Hmm? 
the ghost house. Uh, let's go on the coaster again. Come on. Uh, 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 that's weird. Why are we the only ones here? Maybe everyone uh, else got spooked. Uh, Get going, will ya? Uh, why is it so terrifying? What if we bump into a scary ghost? Uh, Get off of me, will you? Uh, what's this room? Uh, a coffin! Babies. If there's a coffin, then logic tells me a vampire will follow. Please, no vampires. Please, no vampires. Please, no... Really? <laughs> this is a vampire. He's not even wearing makeup. <laughs> I'm a failure. Drama. You got that right. <clears throat> it's some Ooh. kind of lab. Oh. Master Red, <clears throat> what's that, sir? Uh. It's alive. <laughs> 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 Uh, what? He's just an ordinary cupcake. So, mm -hmm. um, I feel like Frankenstein or... I gotta hmm? say, I'm not very impressed with this, this place. This is yours. <laughs> uh, a graveyard. Let's hope there aren't any flesh-eating zombies. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no! Master Brad! Oh, look. A zombie. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, uh, wait, where's your makeup? Huh, you're not really undead, are you? Uh, <laughs> guess I didn't scare you. Sorry about that. So uh, Master Red, wait for me, sir. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What's this place? Huh? A television, sir. Uh, uh, a television uh, that turned itself on. Uh, it looks like an abandoned <gasps> well. It's not abandoned. There's something in there. Uh, stay back. Don't come near me. Guys, really, take a look, will you? One, two, two, and pull. pull. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Wow, that color is amazing. Who does your hair? Thanks, I go to Bread Barbershop. <sighs> Listen here, I paid money for this, but none of you characters has scary makeup on. Is this how you run a business? Calm down, don't get so upset, sir. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> we know you're disappointed, sorry. All of us were hired for the Halloween festival, you see. But our makeup artist had a terrible crash on the way here, so we couldn't put our makeup on. We were really looking forward to it. We wanted to give folks a scary mm -hmm. good time. But that's not the only thing. The ghost house might close, which means we'll all get laid off. <laughs> we're doomed. We're all doomed. <laughs> this breaks my heart, sir. I know. <gasps> Master Bread, why not use your Halloween decorating skills on all these folks? Me? Mm -hmm. Please, uh. we'd really appreciate it, sir. You're a famous barber. If there's anyone who can make us look great, it's you, Master Bread. No way. I don't even have any ingredients here. Don't worry about any of that, sir. Our kitchen has everything. Cream, fruit, syrup, anything you need is there. Well, I guess I'll get to work. Let's hear it from my boss, Master Bread. <laughs> Master Thank you. Bread! Master Bread! For deathly pale skin, a bit of flour, a little ketchup to make bright scarlet red lips, some chocolate syrup for the hair, and ice cream cones for pointy horns. Yeah. A vampire! Cement glaze for bright green skin, a bit of chocolate jam for the hair, Chocolate syrup to create some frightening scars. Break this bone cracker in half and apply it to the head. It's Frankenstein's monster. 
Now to create a skeleton effect. Pour heavy cream liberally on the top of the head. Draw pitch black eyes and grave sniffing nostrils. Add a scary scurry smile. And you're a skeleton ghost. <laughs> And what's Halloween without a wicked witch? We use this cookie to make a hat. A dollop of cream on top, a sprinkle of chocolate chips. Wow. <laughs> a dash of blueberry jam on the lips, and you're a Halloween witch. <laughs> <laughs> they actually look like real ghosts. Those folks are going to be real scared now. Master Bread, how can we thank you? This will really help me to play my role. <laughs> oh, it was nothing really. Now, you get out there and scare the pants off those people. Yeah! Good so luck, everyone! Bread. Show them what you got. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! Thank you! Bye -bye. Thank you. <sighs> <sighs> wow, you really made this a happy Halloween, sir. Now all those ghouls can hang on to their jobs. Uh, all that makeup and nobody paid me! I gotta get back there! Uh, hey, you! Huh? What were you guys doing in there? Ah, Master Bread did some scary makeup mm -hmm. for the ghosts inside the ghost house. But that's impossible. There's no one in there. Uh -huh. uh, what about the actors uh, we saw? Uh, what actors? None of the actors have gotten here yet. The ghost house is closed on Halloween night. It's a real pain in the neck. Breaking news! Huh? Today, a bus on the way to Bakeryland was involved in a serious accident. It appears four actors that were hired to work at the ghost house on Halloween night have been rushed to the hospital with injuries. Hey, those look like the actors at the ghost house. What are the chances? Right? Then the big goods we saw mm -hmm. are real ghosts. <laughs> I wonder what scared them so bad. What exactly did they see in there? <laughs> Cursed mirror. Hey! What? Another one? This is the third mirror you've broken. Oh, what a great job. I'm a jinx. We need to replace that mirror fast. We're opening soon. Uh, go buy us a new one. Uh, okay. I'll hurry back. Don't uh, drop it on the way back! Uh, hmm. Any mirror shops around? Huh? I sent you looking to huh? buy a mirror. Uh, wow, mister, how did you know? Follow. I will show you a special one. Hmm. Uh, wow! <laughs> you have so many mirrors! This mirror is Rococo, this one is modern, and this one is avant-garde. Which one of these should I get? Um, huh? This is the mirror you should purchase. Oh, that's kind of old. Listen, oh. you! This mirror was used by only the greatest barbers throughout history. During the Renaissance, the royal barber Twisted Velo used it to groom kings and dukes. Only those of royal filling could be beautified in front of this mirror. Because of Twisted Velo, it's beyond priceless. But I'll sell it to you at a special discount <gasps> of $100. What? $100? That's the exact amount of cash Master Bread gave me. You and this mirror must be destined for each other. Take it now. It's a bargain. Thank Ooh. you, sir. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Thanks again, mister. Don't break it. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm free! You bought this ugly piece of junk for a hundred dollars? Yep. It's a special mirror used by lots of famous barbers throughout history. You got scammed! Huh? Who sold this trash to you? I want my money back! Wilk is actually right. Uh. Says here it was a luxury mirror used by royal barbers in the Renaissance. An Italian carpenter crafted it from special oak trees that only grow on cliffs. At auction, it starts at one million dollars. A million? Should I throw it out? Are you insane? Uh. It's an antique! Uh. Have some respect. I've loved you since I first laid eyes on you. Mm. Oh, if I was a mirror, I'd marry you. Mm. Hmm. There, your hair's what? all done. Well, my hair styled by the famous bread, it must look the... Uh, I'm, I'm hideous! Hello? Uh, How could uh, this happen? I'm the best barber in Bakery Town can't make me pretty, and it's just impossible! I'll never be beautiful! I don't deserve what? to be happy! Uh, wait! What's going on, Mr. Bread? Uh, <gasps> Why do I have wrinkles? I look a 
100 days past my sell-by date. Wilk, what's the deal? <gasps> what the? I look older than my grand muffin. What's going on? <laughs> I look more curdled than cottage uh, cheese. Hmm. Uh, I'm still handsome, uh, though. Mm -hmm. Mr. Greg <laughs> looks the same. Maybe it's because he's already ugly. What's the deal with this mirror anyway? The customer's reflections looked weird. Maybe it's cursed or something. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's 100% cursed. <laughs> we should call an exorcist. Oh, oh, why did this one have to be cursed? <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye. Spirits, I call upon you. Ma'am, are you able to drive out the demons possessing my mirror? Fear not. It'll be a piece of pie. <laughs> <laughs> what did you see? Are you all right? That, <laughs> that thing is cursed. A specter with a twisted body possesses the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> a specter with a twisted body? <laughs> I polished those today. <laughs> What the hell is that? Get away, get away! This mirror is mine. Hands up! Hey, what? I'm too young to. Oh. Wait, I'm okay. Nothing happened. I got chills when the ghost's arm went through me. Yeah, you're right. Oh. You do get chills. I kind of <laughs> like it. Uh, <laughs> creepy, but awesome. <laughs> Even in a death, I'm a doom to be ignored. <laughs> wow, ghosts can cry too. <laughs> Here, I made you tea. Grazie. <gasps> oh, that teacup was my mother's. I'm so sorry. Why am I so tragic even in the afterlife? What happened that was so tragic you became a ghost stuck in a mirror? I was a royal uh, hairdresser in Italia. Uh, are you the famous barber Twisted Fellow? See, si. I began the cutting the hair after I came out of the oven. Throughout my career, I was a barber to all the royal families in Europe. But I was so busy, I was never able to get my own haircut. I always saw how magnifico I made my own patrons and how unmagnifico I looked in the mirror every day. That's why I became bound to the mirror. <laughs> that makes me sad. All you wanted was to look magnifico. This is our fate as barbers. If I get a nice trim, maybe I'll be able to leave this mirror once and for all. Signore Pane, would you cut my hair? Mr. Brett, you've got to give him a trim so he can move on, please. If I help this dead Italian guy out, I'll get the mirror. All right, I'll do it. But when I'm done, in return, I get the mirror. Deal? <laughs> Deal. Grazie, grazie. That's so great, Twisted Velo. Right, let's start with cream. Oh, I'll never look a magnifico. Don't cry, T. At least there's no hair for you to wash. I'll never get a haircut in my life. Don't huh? talk like that. Besides, you've already died. <laughs> Aha! Huh? What are you doing, Master Bread? <laughs> well, what do you think? Huh? Wow! Pretty great, don't you think? I love it. I look magnifico. Grazie. <laughs> I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> that was so nice of you to help him out. Can I clean the paint off the mirror now? Paint? Uh, it's not real. Well, why oh. did you have to open your big mouth? Oh, Twisted fellow must oh. be so upset. Sorry, Mr. Bread. Even if he's dead, what kind oh. of customer service is that? You're right. Oh. What if we painted more hair? Painted That's more all hair? Right. Oh. It's the first time anyone has really cared about me like this. That's better than any haircut you could have given. Grazie. When I look at you uh. both, it uh. finally makes me feel a magnifico. Uh. You are a true barbers. Uh. The mirror is a yours uh. now. Oh, oh. Mr. Fellow, goodbye! Be at peace now, <laughs> my friend! Phew, what a crazy day. 
<laughs> now the million dollar mirror is finally mine! Huh? Wilk! Why is the mirror disappearing? <laughs> oh, the soul escaped and the curse is finally been lifted! Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Robot Wilk. Oh, I hope they have a little muffins room in there. Me too. Why does Brett have so many customers? He's nothing but a heel. Oh. Milk, how many times do I have to tell you? You mixed up the chocolate and strawberry creams again. But they're both creams, so does it matter? That Wilk sure is clueless. Ah, which gives me an idea. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Will, could you spare a moment of your time? Hey, Mr. Potato Chip. I'm on my way to work. What's up? Well, I was spring cleaning and I found a stack of Donut Ranger video. Oh, <gasps> you have Donut Ranger? Oh, yeah, with the director's commentary and everything. Director's commentary? Can I see them? <laughs> <sighs> he did the bait. <sighs> 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 <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't know you had a basement lab! I feel like I'm in a movie about a genius! <laughs> That's because I am a genius! I graduated magna cum laude from Tater State, you know! Oh, there you are! The videos are over there, so enjoy! Thank you so much! <laughs> Donut Ranger, here I come! Huh? Ha! What's going on? <laughs> you actually fell for it! Talk about thick milk! Oh, Mr. Potato Chip, please let me out! I'm going to be late for work! Work? Don't you worry about work! I've arranged for someone to take your place! Behold! Robot Wilk! Uh, 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 you mean the robot will go to work instead of me? Yes! That way you can watch Donut Ranger all day! But they're expecting me at work. I bet there isn't any director's commentary. Uh, I'm going to give Wilk two more seconds. Huh? I have arrived, Master Bread. Wilk, why are you so late? You won't have time to clean. Tidy, tidy. Tidy, tidy. Tidy, 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 tidy. Huh? <gasps> Hello, sir. I will get you your black tea now. Uh, okay. Black tea, black tea, black tea, black tea. <gasps> Is it just me, or does Wilk seem a little off today? Yeah, he's doing things right. Master Bread, here is your black tea. Oh, thank you. Oh, this flavor! I am the keeper of the secret key! Uh, you really have stepped up your game, Wilk. Keep up the good work. You are too nice. <laughs> <laughs> Robot Wilk is working out just as I planned. And now it's time to turn bread into crumbs. Mr. Potato <laughs> Chip? You scared the chip out of me! What do you want? Could I have something to drink? <laughs> Here, here's water. Uh, uh, do you think you could get me a soda <laughs> instead? <laughs> soda! <laughs> now that I've had soda, I want to eat pizza. Do you think you could order me a pizza? Ah, uh, uh, yes, hello, I'd like a pizza delivery. Make sure there's extra cheese. <laughs> uh, make it with extra cheese, please. Can they do the surf and turf topping? Ah! <laughs> Oh, Wilk, your technique has vastly improved. I learned it from watching you, Master Bread. <laughs> All my efforts have finally paid off. <laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> Mr. Potato Chip? Uh, what? What is it now? I think I ate too much. Do you think you could get me some lactate? Ah, I can't take it anymore! Once the robot takes out bread, you'll be expired now! What? You're going to take out Mr. Bread? That's right! Bread is gonna be toast! And all I have to do is press the button! Oh, no! 
And with the bread gone, the chip will be the star of the party. Where are you going? You haven't finished my hairstyle. Uh, uh, almost there. Uh, I'm never going to reach it. What do I do? <gasps> What can I do for you? Master Bread, I will give you a head massage now. Oh, a massage would be splendid. I have to do something fast. Uh, huh. This must be the remote that controls the robot. I have to use this to stop it. <laughs> Master Bread, hmm. do you like your massage? Yes, massage is the one thing you've always been good at. Do you want me to apply more pressure? Stop! <laughs> Wait, uh, since what are there two Wilkes? Uh, Master Bread, watch out! That Wilkes a fake! He's a robot version of me that Mr. Potato Chip sent to take you out! Take me out? Oh no, uh, do not listen to him. I am the real Wilk. Uh, how can I tell which one of you is real? Aha! When did I see episode 27 of Donut Ranger? I am going to search for it. There is no 27. Uh, Donut Ranger ends with episode 26. That means that the <gasps> fake Wilk is you. <laughs> oh no, but he made me do it. Now I will cut off your crust and then I will burn your toast. Uh, oh, please don't hurt us. Uh, 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 Mr. Bread, uh, don't worry. I can stop the robot with this remote control. So long, imposter! Oh, no! Huh? Uh, Wilk, why did you turn on the AC? Wait a minute, why is uh. it working? <laughs> huh? You cardinal uh. turd, that's the AC remote! <laughs> what? You're trying to save the day with the AC remote? Uh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Robot Wilk, it's time to slice the bread. Oh, no, you don't! Uh. I won't let you hurt Master uh. Bread! Now, give me that remote! Get off me! I'll take you out first! I will obey. Shall I whip you into a milkshake or freeze you into ice cream? Wilk, you're destroying my golden trophies! I'm sorry, Master Bread! Hasta la vista, Wilk. No! <laughs> Wilk, Wilk. <laughs> oh, my aching back. Are you okay, Master Bread? Uh, yeah, are you okay, Wilk? I'm just fine, Master Bread. Huh? <laughs> huh? No! How dare you! Do you know how hard I slaved over that robot? Ah! Potato chip, huh? you're under arrest! <laughs> Let me go, I'm innocent! Are you guys okay? Well, I felt better. Choco, it's so good to see you! Something was weird, so I called the police. But it looks like you two took care of it. Let me go! It wasn't me, I tell you! It was the robot! Let's go. That tuber trash thought he could send a robot to take me out? It was all my oh. fault, Master Bread. If only I hadn't gone to watch Donut Ranger. What? You were watching Donut Ranger instead of coming to work? Uh, oh, that robot Wilk was so good on the job. Uh, that's not very nice, Master Bread. Uh, How could I, I was only kidding. 